Good afternoon and welcome to our last day here in Paris. With me this afternoon I have Suzanne Seitz who is going to be talking disruption and grid edge. Suzanne, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Claire, for having me. Pleasure being here. Why uh, is disruption so important in the utility sector at the moment? What is it doing? What are, what are the implications of it on our sector and, and on the industry as a whole? Well, you know, Claire, we've been speaking about the three trends, decarbonization, decentralization, digitalization for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And I think just from walking around the trade show here, you can see that, first of all, these are really coming to life, these trends. It's no longer just PowerPoint slides. We actually see proof points and that are not only now driving strategic decisions in the utility space and in the energy space, but also they are driving operational decisions, meaning these trends are coming to life on a day-to-day -day matter for some of our customers, for most of our customers. So let's break that down a little bit. If we look at decarbonization, I mean, you just have to listen to the news, right? The societal pressure, the Fridays for Future, um, the whole awareness is really increasing. You see many companies in many states either doing carbon neutral goals, setting milestones by 2030, for example. You also see the greenhouse emission reduction programs coming to life. And you also see what I think is a big driver that some people ignore or don't really see is that financial investment companies are really driving this because they have yeah. indexes, they have funds, and companies want to be part of those funds, so they are really being active in creating sustainability goals. So this topic is being driven across the board, which leads me to the next topic, the decentralization, where we see you know, the prosumer discussion, you see e-vehicles springing to life also here on the booth, you see some e-vehicles around, you see um, the battery storage coming to life, you see uh, a lot of these green sources also being on the edge, if you so on, and actually disrupting the overall grid. So this is a real operational issue for power utilities in that it completely turns your grid upside down from being one way to two way kind of, um, I would say, flows to manage. Yeah. And the third one that you have is around the digitalization and the amount of data you are going to require to manage all of those flows to create the transparency on your grid to also manage that and further optimize that is going to be significant. So I think the topic of digitalization is not a technology drive, it's actually driven more from the other two um, trends as well. So you mentioned something about the grid edge and I, that's something I'd like to particularly focus on. Why is the grid edge so important? So one is, as I said before, a lot is happening on the edge of the grid, on the edge. To create that data that you need afterwards to take decisions, you need sensors. So in my language, you know, we're, we were known for many years just as a meter company. Yeah. We're a lot more than that in the meantime. But these meters, in my language, are sensors. These sensors provide data for taking a lot of decisions on you know, where you're going to invest in your infrastructure. You need that for the grid stability, for the grid reliability, for the grid flexibility. And you're also going to need it more and more for the consumer engagement because to reach some of those targets we mentioned before, you're going to also need some saving which requires customer engagement. And a lot of that data is at the grid edge. And apart from just having sensors there, you're going to be taking a lot of decisions also at the grid edge. So the term that we have actually used from Landis and Gear is grid edge intelligence. You're going to be seeing a lot of decision making taken also at the grid edge level. So we believe that this is a pool of information, a pool of source of data that is going to be extremely important for the future of grids. It actually leads me very nicely into my, my final question and that is, you said that Landis and Gear for a long time was, was known as a pure metering company. How how is the company now positioning itself within the sector? So we have um, a proud heritage where we've got more than 120 years of experience. We are known as being leading in innovation. Uh, we have very close relationships with many, many utilities around the globe uh, in all sizes. So we are dealing with small, medium and large utilities. And we know what their challenges are. And I would say, yes, we have a strong tradition in meters and that is still our core business. And we are very proud of that. So high quality and we have leading positions both electricity in gas and in heat. And I would say that this close collaboration with the customers drives our innovation funnel. So they give us more or less the ideas for what our next portfolio is to be around. We are now very strong in also providing solutions and also we've used the trade fair here to actually launch our IoT, our utility IoT platform, Gridstream Connect, which has come across as a good success uh, yesterday. We're also positioning this grid edge intelligence 
And we shouldn't forget that we're very knowledgeable in rollout, so we bring a lot of project management skills to the table that a lot of customers need and ask for, and, yep. and actually really they're desperate for this. And then we shouldn't forget the whole managed service bit, and we see a big trend where, where many more customers are asking for that. So we're in the meantime a solution and a service company. Evolving just like the sector. Evolving just like the sector. <laughs> Congratulations on the launch. Um, Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us this afternoon. From the studio here in Paris, thank you for joining us.